Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're continuing our chapter on Newton's laws and forces, and um, right now we're doing some problems dealing with translational equilibrium. Uh, translational equil equilibrium, just to recap, is the idea that all forces in all directions balance, balance each other out or cancel each other out. That is the add up to zero. So the net force in any direction, um, I'm trying to write it right here, the net force in the x direction, the y direction, in any direction, equals zero. All right, that's pretty easy to remember. All right, so we want to find, in this problem, the tension in a clothesline. All right, the tension sort of up at this angle right here. Now, um, this clothesline is, um, it has a bag of clothes pins on it that is a certain mass, uh, and it, that mass creates a weight force downwards. Now, let's go ahead and just label that. Mg, right? Mg, and uh, while we're at it, why don't we just calculate it? Mg is what? What's one? So the mass is 1.84 um, kilograms times 9.81. Let's go ahead and calculate that out right now. 1.84 times 9.81. I get 18.1, we'll say equals 18.1 newtons, okay? Um, and this clothesline, understandably, is sagging down. Now, the more you pull, the tighter you pull a clothesline, it'll try to stay somewhat straight. That is, if there's less and less tension in here, like the pulling of a clothesline is really creating tension, the less tension there is, the more it will sag. Um, but the more you tighten or make that clothesline taut, the straighter and straighter it will be, so it'll be tighter like that, and then like that, and then like that, but it will never, ever, ever be perfectly horizontal. It is physically impossible to make that happen because there must always be some vertical component of that clothesline's tension because it is the vertical component of that clothesline's tension, T y and t y that is adding our, that is yeah that is adding up those two are adding up to balance out the weight force right here so since we can say the net force in um, in any direction but we'll say in the y direction equals 0 newtons we can also say that the net force in the y direction is going to have to be t y plus Ty minus Mg, minus the weight force, right? Because the weight force is acting downwards. Um, and so they must all add up to zero because that's our other statement about net force is that they have to balance out to zero. All right, so let's find the tension in, that clo in, the, in this clothesline. We can do that by finding the Y component of the tension, right? This clothesline is at an angle. That angle is 3.50 degrees, which isn't very much, 3.5, oh, which by the way, since that's such a small or such a shallow angle, then that means you've got to pull this really, 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 really tight in order to get a Y component that is enough to balance out the weight of the, um, the string, okay? So let's write our, our statement about net force. I'm oh, sorry, we did already. Let's write our statement. So 2TY minus MG equals zero. Well, of course, and that means that Ty is going to have to be equal to mg divided by two. All right, mg, that's uh, our weight force, so that's 18.1. 18.1 newtons divided by two, and that should give us, uh, I can do that in my head, 9.05 9 9 um, yeah, newtons. That's going to be our ty. All right. Now, since this um, this uh, what is it uh, clothespin bag has tension coming up this way and up this way as well, you could say it's being supported by um, that force in two directions, which is why we put two ty's right here. Ty from this tension and ty from this tension. So we know the tension in the clothesline. I'm oh, sorry. We know the tension in, uh, in the y direction. Let's just find the full tension in the clothesline. All right, so the tension T 
Um, I'm sorry, well, let's, let's write a statement, uh, a trig statement about the tension T and TY. We have um, the Y component, that's kind of like the opposite of the, uh, the angle, right? So opposite and hypotenuse, that's sine. So sine of an angle equals TY over T, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So therefore, tension is going to have to be equal to tension in the Y direction divided by the sine of theta. That's 9.05. I guess I should have kept writing this in blue, but that's all right. Newtons divided by what's the sine of theta? Sine of a very small angle. So it's a very small vertical component of 3.50 degrees. Um, and so since we're dividing by a very small value, that means that tension is going to have to be a very, very big um, very big tension to create just barely enough vertical force to balance out that um, that bag of clothespins. So 9.05, oops, 9.3.05, 9.05 divided by the sine of 3.5. That is a big number. That is, well, not super big, but probably bigger than you were expecting. 148 newtons, and that's our final answer. So you must create a lot of tension in this very shallowly, sh shallow sloping line in order for the Y component of that tension to be enough to balance out the weight of that bag of clothespins right there. All right, so it's simply, it's just a little bit of trig, but again, it is predicated on the assumption that all forces have to add up to zero. If we really wanted to, we could find the, um, the force in the X direction as well, um, but there's no weight force acting in the X direction, but you can be darn sure that the X component of that, that tension, Tx, is going to be equal and yet opposite to the X component of that tension right there. And it should be because it should be the same angle here, here, and of course it's the same tension, so they're all going to balance out. So again, translational equilibrium, all forces add up to zero. There's no acceleration, therefore no net force in any direction. The thing is perfectly still. So that's example 15.3. Thanks for following along. Make sure you have any questions. Uh, you come see me, but in the meantime, I'll see you on the next one.